to this tutorial and today's video we're going to be discussing some some other ways to edit our roof object in ArchiCAD as well as adjusting our uh, story markers and uh, basically yeah so adjusting our story markers maybe editing the way they look because right here we've got this issue here where the text is kind of overlapping so we're going to try to clean that up as much as possible uh, to get it ready for documentation purposes so um, Let's before we get into the the roofs, that'll be the easiest um, short note I want to make on that uh, later. But um, head over to the view map um, and then scroll down to the design development folder, and then scroll down to the north elevation. Double tap that, and it'll take you to this drawing here. Um, if you're not already there, and uh, one thing we're gonna do is uh, we're, we're gonna make a couple. Um, edits to our story markers because um, there's a neat feature that um, th that I like to include in my drawings. So right click on this uh, elevation view and then go down to elevation settings. You're going to get this uh, window pop-up uh, thing and we're going to scroll down to where you get uh, story levels here and then you're just going to, if you have it closed, just click on that down arrow or the, the arrow that's sort of facing to the right and then it'll turn into a down arrow. And then um, we have the story levels displayed and outputted, which means that uh, those are gonna basically print to our sheets, or when we when we create our publisher sets, it'll show up there. We're gonna uh, make sure, we want th this uh, dashed dotted line to actually show, and right now they're not showing in our, in our model. So in order to make this line type show, and it's basically gonna cut across our drawing we're just going to go ahead and um, check the story level line uh, checkbox, which I believe by, by default it was unchecked. So we're just going to go ahead and check that and then hit OK. Now when you do that, you'll see this, uh, this line showed up here uh, to show us our story levels um, as we've defined them, right? Now we can tell here that uh, the, f the first floor is basically where it should be, right? Um, and of course these are, uh, they're already we already predefined them in a separate video uh, right in one of the previous tutorials so that the first floor is exactly a foot six inches from natural grade and usually if you hit M to measure you can click there and then just uh, scroll down or move your mouse all the way down to grade and you'll see that it's one six um, and then from the first floor um, it's kind of hard to see here but that's eight feet up so what we're going to do actually is we're going to we want to figure out exactly how high this is. Um, there's a couple different ways we can do it. We can actually place dimensions here, um, but the other way is just by using that measuring tool by hitting M on your keyboard. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to go to the highest point on my roof here, which is here, and click there once, and then I'm going to scroll down all the way till I get to natural grade, and then we'll see that I am at one or er, 14 feet and 1 and 43 out of 64 inches. So let's just say 1 foot, or I'm sorry, let's just say 14 feet and 2 inches. We're going to round up. Um, so four, 14 feet, 2 inches. Okay. So now um, if we go back to our story levels over here in the project map, um, we're going to go to story settings, and then we're going to change this elevation to um, 14 feet two inches and then you'll see that the height to next in the previous story is updating or has already updated here to four feet one inch and then we don't have a next story so let's just put zero there um, and then that's it so you'll see that uh, story level basically adjust um, where we wanted it to it is it's a little bit above where it should be but um, I guess if you if you want to get um, if you want to get super, super precise, let's let's see if we can do it. So it was uh, 14 feet one and 43 out of 64 inches. So I'll put it in like that, and then it's adjusted exactly. So you can kind of see you can get very precise with the software, um, so that everything is where you want it to be. Okay, um, and so that's how you adjust them. Now the other thing we are kind of worried about is this text overlapping here. Uh, with our attic and ceiling story levels. So we're going to go ahead and head back to 
um, the elevations here. So this north elevation, we're going to right click on it and then go to elevation settings. And then we're going to head down to the, I believe it is, where is it, where is it? So this is the marker size, ah, there, there we go, story levels, text style. So we can change this to any color. Um, usually for documentation, we just use black. You can change the font to be a little bit smaller maybe. Um, and then the spacing between the letters, that's what this is here. Um, or I'm sorry, between the lines. We'll just keep it at 100% because it looks like it's spaced out a little bit more than it should be. Um, and then this is if you want to stretch the letters or, or space them out a little bit more. We won't worry about that here. But let's see, um, we have some more options here, but let's see if what we just did with the story levels textile, just changing the font size there, will um, fix it. And it looks like it's, eh, it's not quite enough for what we need. So let's go ahead and head back into those settings. So elevation settings, um, and then let's go down. We can, we can keep making this smaller, um, but I think five point is pretty, that's usually as small as I'd like to go. Um, unless it's absolutely necessary to go smaller. So let's see if we can change uh, a couple other things. We're going to head down to story levels, symbol, and text. And here there's a couple things you can do. Um, you can change the reference levels. You can change the story name placement. Um, so if you want the story name to be above the line or below the line, you can mess with that if you like. Um, you can also extend these uh, the lines that are out here. So that's this this area right here. Um, so if you want these to be more spaced out from the drawing, um, which is past this point over here to the left, um, you can you can adjust that. But let's let's keep going. Let's see what we have. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, hey, buddy. Sorry, guys. That's my cat again. Um, You'll probably be hearing him a lot in these videos, so <laughs> sorry in advance. Um, but uh, okay, yeah. So it looks like um, yeah. Here, oh, here in this uh, in this option here, we can remove um, the index of the story. Um, you can remove the story name. Actually, I usually like to keep it, um, but um, depending on whether you want this plus uh, plus or minus or the um, the actual elevation text. So the elevation text is the actual height here, the measurement. Um, sometimes, if you're going to put in manu if you're manually going to put in dimensions into your drawings, you can omit those and then just have the story levels labeled. Um, so, like, let me go ahead and show you guys. I'll remove that plus sign and also the elevation text. So let's see what happens here. So there, you see the um, the measurements or the elevation. Uh, text disappeared along with the plus or minus. Um, so that's, you can do that, um, but um, right, sometimes it's, it's nice to have. Uh, but again, if you, it depends on the style, right, that you that you like to have um, for, for your drawings. Let me go back to the story, the marker, uh, the story level marker, where is that? Is that here? Mm, no. Go back, story levels. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to change the marker to be 10. Um, so that's just going to change the size of that that marker a little bit, um, and that, that's okay for now. Um, you, you can you can adjust those later, but you can see you have multiple options to to adjust those. You can uh, also justify the text to the right so that it's um, sort of on the on the right side and they're all kind of lining up on the right. Um, and then you can move, you can remove that index if you like. I'll leave it in for now, um, but that's it. So that's kind of um, what our elevation is looking like at this point. Um, now, uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like in the, the layout book. So let's head over to your layout book, and then let's find the north elevation. So it looks like they're all, or no, they're not. They're all on separate pages, I guess. So let's head here. Um, oh, there we go. So you can see this first elevation, the north elevation is showing up here in black and white um, with the story level markers and the story level lines that go through the model. Um, if you don't like to have these in the elevations, that's fine, you can remove them. You can just 
head back and hit um, display only or or don't display uh, just hit none and um, that way you don't get them showing up here um, you can also just remove these markers if you like um, but it, it's really up to you um, <clears throat> yeah so th there's a couple other things you can do here like let's say I, w I wanted to show them um, or I didn't want to show them but I don't you don't want to go back and edit it the other way you can kind of always shorten the, um, the actual drawing in the layout book by clicking one of the edges and then using the offset edge tool and then basic, basically doing this and you can get rid of them that way but um, usually you should you should do that in your views um, by right clicking and then going into the settings you'll have to do that for every model so if you don't want to do that I guess that's fine U up to you um, but let's let's go ahead and do one last thing in this uh, short clip um, so we're gonna head over to the view map and then we are gonna go to the Let's just go to all visible and unlocked and then oh, our roof's not showing up there um, So um, if, if you're uh, having issues finding objects, you can always um, You can always go into 3d or show on in 3d by going to the view and then uh, elements in 3d view and then show all in 3D. Usually all of your elements from all of your stories will show up there. Um, and uh, for now, let's just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and click that roof. And the edit that I wanted that I wanted to show you guys how to make um, was the following. So um, I can do it in 3D, uh, no problem, but let me actually show you guys something real quick. So if you wanted to see this roof in floor plan view, what you can actually do is right click on it in 3D and then uh, go down to where it says select on floor plan. Now I've got it in floor plan view, and what we can do here is um, I, I want to basically shorten the eaves. I think two feet is a little bit too big. Um, usually um, we have like a one foot eave, um, but I mean it, it's really up to you. It depends on the design, but we like to do one foot um, so it's not overhanging too much. And if you do that, you can see that it will actually um, update all of the eaves uniformly. Um, you can also do custom uh, or manual um, eave overhangs so that um, if you don't have a uniform overhang across your whole model, um, you can do that individually. But, um, but this is a nice and easy way to, um, to do it for the entire roof. So that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.